Hello, this is Mr. Horn B83 with another Mr. Horn B83 Toy Talk. And I believe last time I did a video, I said I was going to do Jack Pacific. Let these in. I was going to do the Jack Pacific figures. And, and you know, I was a big fan of the Jack stuff from, you know, a lot of stuff. To, well, when they started doing them like this, that's when I really became a fan of them, was when they started doing the figures like this. It's a little nicked up. My son's been playing with them. And I do like their deluxe impact figures, which I don't know why they ain't made no more. I don't know, I guess because the TNA being so bad. You got this rock here, y'all, with the Mattel belt. Yeah, and people probably wonder, well, if you like that belt, what do you got in the rock? Well, because my son likes them. And out of further checking, the one, the ringside exclusive Stone Cold Attitude belt is a little bit smaller than this one. So this one's a little bit bigger. I uh, told my son he could use that one for the main titles. And as you can see, got a mixture of WWE figures, Rocky Balboa figures. Until NECA got the rights to them because really Jack's did terrible on the Rocky figures. I did not like their Rocky figures at all. And even got some of the old bone crunchers. Some of these I even had while I was still a kid. Like this Bulldog, I think I've had it since I was a kid. Uh, this Alston I've had since I was a kid. Um, this I just recently bought for my son at a flea market. Uh, I don't know, maybe been a year or so ago. But recent. This one, I think I might have had this one before. Got it for my son. I don't know. I might have just got it for my son when he first started getting action figures. You know, the one thing I liked about what Jax did with their TNA figures, they didn't do too well with their WWE figures. If you take a look at some of their WWE figures, they don't look as accurate as the guys. But with the TNA figures, like this Kurt Angle, Bully Ray, Sting here, Sting here, Sting here, you've seen both of these because I've reviewed them both. Oh, and you've seen that Triple H numerous times when I've done videos talking about what Mattel should do. But... Their TNA figures look better, I guess, because they went with the deluxe aggression. Like, Austin Aries right here looks dead on Austin Aries. With the TNA belt of the current title. Sting also has the belt. And I bought this one off of eBay. It was like $5. This one, my wife and I made the classic 91 to 94 WCW title. People call it 93, but the belt didn't go away until 94. And then... Staying with the actually first official TNA World Championship right here. Oh, the freaking belt fell. First official TNA. You got the one that came with the Sting and the Hogan two pack, which that one's my favorite one out of the ones they've made from this. My wife and I did also make a big gold version of the um, of the freaking TNA Championship, and I got one big problem I've had. With Jax's figures, though, is one the scale of some of the figures. Some guys that shouldn't be taller than other guys are taller than other guys. Another thing is some of their belts. Like, look at this. This belt is duller than dull. No collar to it at all. And that belt had collar to it. And when you get the one that comes with this and the Hogan, the bloodied Hogan, it's a lot more collar than this. Um. And that's one thing I've always accredited Mattel on when they started doing their WWE figures. They did the belts accurately. Well, they did the WWE versions of these belts accurately. I still, although my son likes it, and that one is a little bit bigger, it's still not the scale as how the Attitude Era belt was. I'm, I'm still in favor of the Jacks one, but it's hard to find the Jacks one anymore. But, um, but yeah. I mean, Mattel really does better than Jax with the freaking scale of the figures, and not only the scale of the figures, but the belt coloring. All the belts are colored, even the Attitude Era, yeah, it's highly detailed, but I feel still not completely accurate to the real one, but, you know, highly detailed figure belts, um... And that was a big problem with Jax. I mean, they only did, like, probably numerous colored belts, and one of them was the Ruthless Aggression WWE Attitude Era Championship. Um, 
Well, they had collar in their belts when they were doing the little rubber belts when they started with the bone crunchers like these and that, which turned the diesel around. But, and Jacks, yeah, they've done some other things. They made those uh, the TV games that at one point they had like stuff like Mortal Kombat for the TV games and that. Uh, they've done a few other things, but really, the thing I paid attention to the most with Jax was the freaking was the uh, wrestling figures because I thought they did well with the figures and you know I and that was before Mattel got them but Mattel's done great with them um, they did do well with the TNA figures I don't know why they the last TNA set that came out was thirteen there was only two people out was Mr Anderson and I believe Angelina Love and that was it for TNA, but the TNA's been on a freaking rocky shores since they've been put off spike. Since they've made so many mistakes in the past. I mean, so many freaking mistakes. One, bringing Hogan and them in. Two, trying to relive the Monday Night Wars, which you knew wasn't going to happen. And, uh, and, I mean, then look, just look at this Randy Orton. And look how he's not real, real muscular, but he's lean looking and he's got a little bit of muscle. That's something that I do also like with the Jacks figures too, because they've done it with the Stings. They've done it with the wrestlers like Austin Aries and that. Like, yeah, they're a little Jack, but they're not completely as big as they were. Mattel has fixed that as well. And these freaking ones right here are just... These things are extremely freaking muscular looking. It's like, like bulging out. Well, another problem, too, is some of the figures they've made. Like, I want to use this for an example. The Yokozuna don't even look like him. Um, they got everything else right except for the look and the freaking wrist, the hand wrist things, which they didn't have on there. Um, and see, that's one thing with their bone crunchers. They did have better detail with those, but they had more time to perfect those over the years. Because I think... By the time they went Ruthless Aggression, I think it was like when they started doing the Ruthless Aggression, it might have been 2002, 2003, and by then, by 2009, they were done making WWE figures, and then 2010 came, Mattel took over. Um, like, you know, this Glow in the Dark Jeff Hardy is a great figure, and if I wanted to turn off the lights, it probably would glow in the dark, but... Who knows, it glows when it wants to most of the freaking time. But this is one of the most awesome figures that they made from the TNA line. Aside from, I don't know, I guess this one. <laughs> but, you know, overall, they're still a good toy company. I know they also make giant size Star Wars figures and that. And. In fact, I think I got some stuff coming out, like a giant size BB-8, giant size oh. Darth Vader. But, uh, uh, who knows when those will come out. Um, I think they also might have another Kylo Ren, giant size. And that, which I don't know for sure if Jax did that one or if Hasbro did that one. I think it said Hasbro on it, so. The one my son got from Disney World. So, I don't know. But... Yeah, I think, I guess that'll wrap it up. Um, please like this video, leave a comment, subscribe for more. Um, my next toy talk will probably focus on Hasbro and the three toy companies that's been prior to this. It's going to be a mixture of the Mattel one. Actually, not a mixture. It's going to be one half of what I did for the Mattel one. And then, like, just completely, completely, you know, You'll hear my thoughts on Hasbro when I get to that one. Um, I've got some other stuff coming up this week. I'm finally going to get to, I know I keep saying I'm finally going to get to some of these videos and then it takes me a while still to get to them, but finally going to get to that Captain Kirk, uh, Jean-Luc Picard, compare and contrast. Uh, I'm going to get to the... Shredder versus Lord Zed next week. I'll try to do it. But I had so much on my plate early this year. It's been hard to do the videos I said I was going to do. But, and I might, 
you know, review my son's giant Kylo Ren maybe over the weekend or something or sometime next week. Um, but, yeah, follow me on my Facebook fan page, Mr. Hornby 83 Topics. Follow me at Twitter at Mr. Hornby 83. And until my next video, peace out.